एक्सलेंसीज लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द मीडिया वी हैव जस्ट कंक्लूडेड द एथ ब्रिक समिट इट हैज बीन एन अवर ऑनर एंड प्रिविलेज टू वेलकम प्रेसिडेंट शी प्रेसिडेंट जुमा प्रेसिडेंट तेमर एंड प्रेसिडेंट पुतिन to the beautiful state of goa our discussions that spread over three sessions today were detailed substantive and productive in the morning we exchanged views on important global issues including terrorism global economic scenario and the need to reform the global governance architecture we also utilize the opportunity to review ongoing brics cooperation during the plenary session we focus on ideas and possibilities for increasing india brics cooperation the conversation was useful and forward looking and as we mark a decade of bricks it is particularly timely we have just ended a session with the bricks business council we also heard from the president of the new development bank on the meaningful work that ndb has undertaken in its first year i am happy to share that we have adopted the goa declaration that lays a comprehensive vision for our cooperation and coordination within brics and on international issues ladies and gentlemen let me now turn to the issues that received high attention from the brics leaders during the summit we were unanimous in recognizing the threat that terrorism extremism and radicalization present not just to regional and global peace stability and economic prosperity but also to our society our way of life and humanity as a whole we are also born in agreeing that brics need to work together and act decisively to combat this threat we underscored the need for close coordination on tracking source of terrorists financing and targeting the hardware of terrorism including weapons supplies ammunition equipments and training we also agreed that those who nurture shelter support and sponsor such forces of violence and terror are as much a threat to us as the terrorists themselves india is happy to note that the unity of the thought and purpose on this serious global challenge putting the global economy back on track was another focus point of our deliberation we recognize the positive contribution of brics countries to global economic growth after the 2008 financial crisis we feel that it is necessary for economies to make public investment in long term infrastructure project coordinate micro economic policy drive growth 
and promote world trade and manufacturing with renewed vigor. We emphasize the central role of the WTO as the cornerstone of the multilateral trade architecture. We acknowledge the need to strike a balance between economic development and environmental protection. We welcome the early entry into force of the Paris Climate Agreement. India was proud to ratify the agreement on 2nd October this year, the birth anniversary of the foremost environmentalist, environmentalist in history, Mahatma Gandhi. As BRICS leaders, we agreed to focus on institution building within the BRICS as an effective way to pursue our development agenda. We commanded the new development bank on completion of its first year. We agreed that the NDB should continue to focus on infrastructure, technology, and renewable energy sector. We were united in our view to establish the BRICS Agriculture Research Platform, BRICS Railway Research Network, BRICS Sports Council, and various youth-centric fora. We also agreed to hold a high-level BRICS meeting on traditional knowledge. We spoke in one voice of our resolve to promote the reform of the global financial and economic architecture and expand the role of emerging and developing economies in the International Monetary Fund. In order to further bridge the gap in the global financial architecture, we agreed to fast track the setting up of the BRICS rating agency. We also agreed to enhance our coordination within the G20. The vitality of people-to-people -people contacts among the BRICS countries has been a point of emphasis for us. To this end, we are organizing over 100 activities throughout the year and taking bricks to diverse geographies and demographies across our country. We have agreed to nurture people-to-people -people pillar of cooperation as a continuing effort. The BRICS is also committed to strengthen our consultations and cooperation on peace and security matters. Ladies and gentlemen, a highlight of the Goa Summit will be the outreach to the Bimstack countries. The heads of state, heads of government, and leaders from Bangladesh, Bhutan, Myanmar, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Thailand, that together with India, collectively constitute the BIMSTEC are in Goa as the special guest to eighth BRICS summit. The first BRIC BIMSTEC outreach summit will be held later today. This will be a unique opportunity for BRICS and BIMSTEC leaders to hold a conversation on prospect for closer partnership and coordination. As home to nearly two-thirds of humanity, BRICS and BIMSTEC together can potentially unlock immense synergies with huge benefit for all our people. In conclusion, I would like to thank my fellow leaders from the BRICS countries for their unqualified support in ensuring a successful eighth BRICS summit. Thank you. Thank you very much.